Hey, it's Gay. Hope you're feeling cute today. She may be pretty, she may be smart, she may be funny, she's changed your broken heart. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are going to do a part 2 on my most loved and most viewed video that I put up on my channel. This is the creative home photo shoots or self-portraits at home. As of today, it already has 117,000 views and I would like to thank you guys for watching that video. And since you loved that video so much, I decided to do a part 2. It took me a while to do a part 2 on this video because I couldn't really find enough inspiration for the concepts. But then I realized that I've always wanted to try to do a K-pop inspired photo shoot because the K-pop industry is just on another level when it comes to their photo shoots. Like if you've seen their album covers and their concept photos and even their music videos. Wow chef's kiss and everything and i just really love the creativity that goes behind those photo shoots i know that it will be very difficult to find the materials and resources that they used on certain photo shoots because let's face it they have an entire production team working on that one photo shoot so for this video i just chose five concepts that are easy to do with materials that are easy to find including the props the setup and the editing as well also, just a disclaimer, we are just going to take inspiration from these photo shoots and we're not going to copy it entirely. So if it's not going to turn out exactly the same as the photo that we took inspiration from, that's okay. I still hope you enjoy it. So without further ado, let's get started with the video. My setup did not really change. I'm using the same blank wall for my background, the same camera which is the Fuji X-A3, the same ring light, and tripod. For the first concept, I chose to do a black and white girl boss photo shoot inspired by Jisoo, Joy, and Gio. Hey, so I just parted my hair on one side and just did a warm tone edgy makeup to fit the look. I'm just wearing an all black blazer, bralette, and flare pants, and then I paired it with these chunky platform boots. Of course, I had to go all out with silver accessories as well as these long black nails, which are all mostly from Shopee. For the posing in the inspiration photos, the girls were doing sitting poses. So I tried to do my best to post similarly. And I also tried to get creative with my hands as well. For the editing, I opened the draw tool on PixArt, and in the draw page, I clicked the shapes icon to draw two rectangles in the two most dominant colors in the background. After that, I clicked apply and then went to effects and clicked blur, then make it 100% for that gradient effect. I imported the same photo, then clicked erase, then the select icon, and then clicked the background. As you can see, some edges were kinda messy, so I just restored some part of the pictures so that it would look better. I saved the photo and then went to Lightroom. In Lightroom, we're just going to use the black and white landscape filter from the default Lightroom presets. I did some lighting and color adjustments to make the photo look sharper and a bit more professional looking. The adjustments are flashed on the screen right now if ever I'm going a bit too fast. So this is how the photos turned out. This concept really made me feel like a boss. She may be pretty, she may be small. The second concept is one of my favorite photo shoots ever. It's inspired by Sunmi's concept photo shoots for Noir. Which, by the way, I just want to say is probably one of the best music videos ever created in K-pop history. For this look, I styled my hair into space buns and added some colorful 90s hair clips. Then I got these colorful gems and emoji stickers from Shopee, which are very cheap, by the way. I just put them all over my face for that cute, crazy, um, cinnamon roll but could kill you kind of look. 
for the posing of course we want to show off the stickers on our face and on our hands so i just did some crazy hand poses with a blank facial expression it's like you're saying you're mysterious but everyone knows you're crazy For the editing, I opened the photo on PixArt and then cropped it into 4x5. Then I clicked the tools icon and adjust. I wanted to make only the background lighter so I clicked the select icon then erased the effect for person. I polished some areas that I don't want to be brighter and then I used the beauty tool to remove my blemishes. Please don't get me wrong, I love myself but I just don't want the blemishes in my photos. After that, I went to the draw tool and then I used the brush and adjusted the blending to multiply and opacity to 31. Here, I just wanted to make the shadows look red just to add a bit more effect to the photo. I saved the photo and then went to Lightroom to do some lighting and color adjustments based on Sunmi's photo. Because the lighting and editing for that made her skin look pale white, and the stickers more saturated, I tried to do the same on my pictures. If we want to achieve the pale look that Sunmi had in the photo shoot, I think we just did. I wasn't satisfied with the colors so I opened the photo on RNI Films app and selected Agfa Optima 200 version 3 and adjusted the settings based on my liking. So this is how the photos turned out. I really like this one as well, but here's an alternative edit using the film tube filter on PixArt. Tell me what you do on a Sunday I The third concept is so lovely. It's called Plushy Princess inspired by Lisa Manoban. As you can see, I cut my nails and added some gems to make it cuter. And I tried to find a big pink bow and tied my hair half up to make it look similar to Lisa. For my background, I used purple cartolina and just stuck them together on the wall and on the floor as well. I also have this cute plushie that I found at home and this huge lollipop for my props. For the posing, I tried my best to pose like Lisa, but damn, it was so difficult to try to look as adorable as her. But yeah, I just made use of my props and tried to pose like an innocent lady with a lollipop. I edited the background using the clone tool on PixArt so that it would look like I have a whole backdrop and just so it would look neat. Then, just like one of Lisa's photos, I shape cropped this into an oval with white borders. I saved that, then open it on Lightroom to do some lighting and color adjustments. Again, if I'm going too fast, the settings are flashed on the screen so you can take a screenshot if you want. So for this one, Lightroom kinda removed the transparency of the background so I shape cropped it into an oval once again and added white borders. And then I clicked the draw tool to add another two layers of border, but this time it's color blue. Same as the color of the lollipop. After that, I added the printed paper texture effect I found on Google. So I adjusted the blend of the color to multiply and the opacity to 26. After that, I added some noise effect just so it would look more like it was printed on a magazine. So this is how the photos turned out. I feel like we somehow achieved the vibe of the plushy princess. The fourth concept is inspired by this vintage cottagecore photo shoot from Red Velvet's Japan debut album, Concept Photos. I'm using this old rose mesh fabric and some white artificial flowers as my props for this concept. For my headpiece, I'm wearing this mesh fabric loosely on my head and I added some tiny flowers just to make it prettier.
for the posing, I tried to look as graceful as I could. And I also styled my bangs in a way that it would look more dramatic in the pictures. As you can see, I held the flowers so closely to my face and tried to look as romantic as I could. Now for the editing, my makeup was looking a bit crusty already so I decided to smooth that out using the beauty tool on Pixar. And then I adjusted the brightness of the background using the adjust tool. I opened this floral pattern and set the blend settings to multiply and erase the parts that are on my face since I just want it to be on the background. You can find many floral patterns like this on Google or on Pinterest. For the finishing touches, I opened Prequel app and selected the summertime effect. I adjusted the filter and some settings based on my liking. An alternative edit would be to skip the floral pattern background if you don't like it and do the same adjustments and effects on the prequel app. So these are the photos. I really love this concept so much. Watch me through the square. I even see you out there. So now for the fifth concept, we have the Icy Dream concept inspired by Chungha. Ryujin, and IU. For my backdrop, I have this shiny silver and pink fringe curtain and a pillow to support my knees. I just styled my hair how I normally would and wore this shiny black and silver party dress that I got from H&M a few years back. I'm wearing the same accessories from the first concept, minus the nails and the rings. The trick here is to pose how you would normally do if you were at a party and it's better if you just have fun posing, look carefree without really overthinking it. I edited this photo using the disco effect on prequel and I adjusted the intensity and settings for this effect to make it dreamy and dramatic at the same time. I also added the edgy filter to add more contrast to the photo. Overall, this concept is perfect for any holiday photo shoot and I see people doing this all the time during New Year's Eve or their birthday photo shoots. Baby, oh, get to know me, tapping into that good Okay, so I know I said I was only doing 5 concepts, but here's a bonus for my favorite K-pop girl ever, Miss Joy. I have this crown that I had since 2019, and I think it would be a waste if I didn't use this for a photo shoot. I did this in front of our TV since it was the only black service that I could find. And for the poses, I did mostly portrait shots since I really wanted to show the crown. I edited the background using Draw Tool on Pixar to make it all black. And since this was the last concept, my makeup has melted so I smoothed that out using the Beauty Tool once again. And to make it look like a painting or a queen's portrait, I added some paper stencil effect to the background only. To finish it up, I opened the photo on prequel and added the academia filter. This is how the photos turned out and I love them so much. And that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching as much as I enjoyed making it. And if you have any suggestions or if you want a part 3, please comment down below. And I will think of other inspirations for you guys. Thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And check out my other videos as well. See you guys on my next video. Bye bye